it's finally confirmed. Mark Hoffman is back for Saw 11. Welcome home, horror fans. My name's Adam. And I'm Zoe. And five months ago, we released our Mark Hoffman Returns video for Saw 10. It is now Saw 11 time and Mark Hoffman officially is returning for Saw 11. So we've been talking about this obviously for a long time. We knew that Saw 11 was going to be focusing on Mark Hoffman. We've been manifesting. We've, we've been talking about it for a long time, <laughs> but we can now officially say it has been confirmed. And of course, from none other than Mark Hoffman himself. himself Costas Mandalore. That's right. Via Instagram. So on Instagram, old Costas Mandalore has been back at it again. <laughs> These producers <laughs> need the to antics, tie him yeah. back because no one's actually had any casting announcements so far. There's been no official announcements on anybody returning. There's barely been any announcements at all. That's right. Yeah. Very, very little. Uh, and good old Costas Mandalore is here to save the day and to relieve some sore tension for us fans. <laughs> Uh, and it's all attention. <laughs> post a very cheeky Instagram post. That's right. What did he say? Ah, well, Costas Mandalore posted a picture of him and Tobin in the elevator. This one is a flashback from Saw 5 when Tobin Bell, Jigsaw, kidnaps Mark Hoffman for the first time. He's captioned this photo with, and I quote, King Tobin and Apprentice Saw coming. King Tobin. An Apprentice An Apprentice Saw. So you've heard it here first. Apprentice Saw is back. Apprentice Saw is back and they're coming. They're coming. <laughs> they're coming. Yes. Uh, can I just reiterate with Costas that his Instagram is a mess. His Instagram is a mess. <laughs> he is, it is a mess. I'm not sure if anybody told Costas Mandalore that he probably shouldn't be posting about this just yet, <laughs> but he has confirmed his return and he's also confirmed Tobin Bell's return as well. Yeah, well, that's, that's right. something to think about. Yes. Absolutely. He's uh, let the cat out of the bag. Uh I don't know why Mark Berg and Oren Coles didn't decide to put Costas Mandalore on a leash. Yes. Uh, probably because he'd like it too much. <laughs> but, of course, he's he's got there early and he's given us all something to look out for and hope for and it's going to be amazing. Yes, we've been, we've been looking forward to some confirmation, obviously, on the return of Costas Mandalore and of Tobin Bell. And, of course, we have our suspicions of, obviously, Shorty Smith coming back as Amanda. Uh, these are all things that we kind of already knew, but it is great to, obviously, see the confirmation. Yeah. It's nice to start seeing this information start rolling through. So, amongst this announcement, we also do have a few things that have come through this week. So, we also oh, yeah, heard that. Yeah, What did we also hear this week? Kevin Gruter is confirmed to be directing Saw 11. Kevin Grudert has also been officially confirmed now. Of course, if you watch our videos, we did already surmise that we believed it was pretty much obvious that he yeah. was coming back. Yeah. So we sort of knew this was coming. This didn't yes. come as a surprise to us. I think I woke up in the morning and I saw this post and I was like, yeah, we knew. We knew. We, knew we were pretty spot on of being yeah. able to uh, pretty much yeah, figure out that he'd be back considering he did have his interview with the producers about the future of Saw. So if you'd seen that video, you knew that we pretty much got that right on the nose. But it's just nice, again, to have that confirmed. We love Kevin. We have a lot of faith in him. We think he's going to do a great job. I think the best part about this confirmation of Kevin being back to direct is not the fact that he's back to direct. Because that's awesome. But like you said, we already knew it's coming. Yeah. It's more that news is starting to come out. That's right. So we're starting to get these tidbits of information. Costas is leaking the hottest gossip. And yes. I'm sure we can rely on him in the future to uh, give us a few more things things that we probably shouldn't know about but that could mean that we're getting casting announcements soon that we're getting information about the script or where it could be yeah or it means like that we're ticking synopsis. off the obvious stuff which yeah, is great so yeah. we've got the obvious stuff out of the way kevin's back yeah we pretty much guessed that mm -hmm. hoffman's back we pretty much guessed that too mm -hmm. everything that's obvious is out of the way it's great and we know it can't be that far off until we start hearing some more unobvious information about who else might be returning yeah. and some other story parts as well. I, I'm i still someone who... No, I think that they will bring back multiple cast members, people like Strom, like Eric Matthews, like people that have died in the Saw franchise that they have the ability to bring back based on its current timeline. Um, however, I think they're going to be very, very tight-lipped on that. Oh, yeah. I think that we'll definitely get like the announcement of whether Shawnee will be back or not which obviously I think yes, will be the case. Back, yeah. But maybe a few key details that they're like, ah, oh, it doesn't matter if they know that. Um, but I think that any returning cast members other than Costas Mandalore, they're going to keep that pretty quiet. Absolutely. And uh, also on that note, there has been the word that it is going to be beginning filming next month in March. Yes. Another piece of news that yes, has rolled through this week. That was Sora Living Updates that posted that one. That's right. So yep. 
Apparently, if filming is beginning next month, they obviously must have a script ready to go. Well, you would think it would be pretty much done. That's right. Yeah. And then they obviously know who is coming back. So far, we can only confirm for sure Tobin and Costas Mandalore. But we're obviously sure about Shawnee Smith coming back as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So And Cecilia. Yeah. I mean, yeah. look... Cecilia has obviously been talked about a lot in terms of coming back, so yeah. you'd be pretty damn surprised That's if Cecilia been, that wasn't was That was talked back. about in the commentary on the Saw X disc. Exactly. So you would assume that if they were thinking about it all the way back then, yes. that it would be set in stone, solid, confirmed. We don't need to go into that any further. That's right. Kevin and the producers have mentioned Cecilia multiple times, whether it's in the commentary or in the interview yeah. that was just passed in SFX magazine as well. So Cecilia, 100%. Pretty much confirmed also. Yeah, I would say the same. So it's all shaping up really nicely. And mm -hmm. it is really nice to hear these uh, pieces of information roll through. We're just over six months away now at this mm -hmm. point. So we're getting very close to Saw 11. Uh, it's going to be absolutely insane when it finally does get here. Yep. But we just thought we'd sit down, of course. We had to talk about Cosmos Mandalore confirming everything for us. Definitely. Because he's our main man. And uh, it's always worth uh, We did say we'd keep you updated on when Cosmos Mandalore was going to fart. He has basically fired out a really great Instagram <laughs> post here. And uh, his English is a bit muddled, let's say, when he says King Tobin and Saw Apprentice coming. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's an interesting post. Uh, but, you know, I'll take anything I can get. Whether, anything. You know, if anything. he wants to go to a pizzeria he loves, I'll be there reading that Instagram post. Gently Willow. Pizzeria. Uh, we also are excited to talk about the next big horror release, which is coming out later this month. Yes, and that is Baghead. Baghead. We are going to be doing some exclusive coverage over Baghead. We're going to be uh, getting access to the film early, so we're going to be bringing some info about the film to you guys, uh, obviously right as it gets on release. And we're also going to have some other exclusive coverage, which we'll talk about a little bit later too, which is really, really cool. Absolutely. So, and we can't wait to deliver that to you, talk about something a little bit different for a change. But otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. See you next time, guys. Game over.